Today on the newscast, Israel holds what may be its largest military drill ever as threats gather from within and without. Get all the breaking details next. Folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We have been laying out the threats that are gathering against Israel on all sides in the form of that Iranian-backed and armed ring of fire. I'm talking about Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, those various Shia militias in Iraq and Syria, all gathering at Israel's doorstep on all sides, quite literally, and armed to the teeth with attack drones and ballistic missiles and rockets supplied by the Iranian regime. Add to that the ongoing terror wave that Israel is facing right now, some 19 Israelis murdered in cold blood since March 21st alone, as we've documented here on the newscast over the past few weeks. Add all of this up, and it is no surprise right now that, number one, Israel is on very high alert, but number two, the Israel Defense Forces right now are conducting what some are calling the largest military drill in Israel's history. It's called Operation Chariots of Fire. It will last for four weeks. It just kicked off, and it involves literally every unit in the Israel Defense Forces, air, land, sea, cyber, reserves and active military as well, all getting together for the next month to drill on a variety of threats. Of course, the greatest, perhaps, is the Hezbollah threat in southern Lebanon at Israel's northern doorstep. Hezbollah armed to the teeth with some 150,000 rockets and missiles pointed at every inch of the Jewish state. Of course, we have Hamas in Gaza. Things have been really heating up there over the past few weeks due to the Hamas incitement atop the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, all revolving around the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And of course, this drill, Chariots of Fire, is kicking off on the one-year anniversary of last year's Israel-Hamas war in May 2021. So Hezbollah, Hamas, clearly at the top of the list. But you also have the IDF during this drill preparing for civil unrest like we're seeing right now in Jerusalem, of course, again, incited by Hamas, and also these various terror attacks that we're seeing throughout Israel over the past few months. And the cyber factor, of course, the Iranian regime, very active in the cyber realm with cyber terror. Needless to say, Israel has a lot to prepare for, and they are doing just that with this massive military drill, unprecedented, according to what people are saying on the ground in Israel, it is unprecedented in its size and scope. Hey, for such a time as this, folks, again, the timing is no coincidence. I believe Israel is showing its enemies that we are prepared. We are ready for what you will throw at us as the Iranian regime and its proxies, that ring of fire that I mentioned, seem to grow more bold by the day in their plans and advancing closer and closer in Syria, the Iranian regime trying to advance closer and closer to Israel's border and to the Golan Heights, where, by the way, a few years back, not too long ago, I joined the Israel Defense Forces for a nighttime live fire tank drill. Now, I want to show you this clip from the Watchman TV show for two reasons. Number one, because we have obviously this massive military drill going on right now that Israel's conducting. So wanted to give you a little bit of a taste what maybe is going on right now. But number two, this drill that you're about to see that I joined the Israel Defense Forces for took place on the Golan Heights, not far from the Syria border, where in a future conflict, needless to say, that will become a very hot border. So let's go right now to the Golan Heights with the IDF. Take a look. Hey everyone, Eric Stackelbeck here. We are on the Golan Heights near the Syria border at a live fire drill with the Israel Defense Forces, a nighttime drill. It's cold out here on the Golan, but the brave soldiers of the IDF are here. They're training in particular 
uh, for the Hezbollah threat out of Lebanon. We're here with Noah right now. Rugged terrain, as you can see. Noah, you're taking us right now to a D9. Yeah, D9. Tell everyone what that is and why it's so important for the IDF. The D9 is one of our machines that opened up and opens up uh, the path for the soldiers to go in. It's wow. a big machine, yeah, you huge tractor, huge strength, and they're the first one to go in combat. So they kind of make a way, they kind of clear yeah. the way they open up for the way. IDF. Yeah, they open things up. You can see why, folks, look how big this thing is, uh, the D9. So this drill will be an hour long, I guess, or so? More, they're here More for days. They're here for days. Yeah. And folks, again, as Noah said, they're here for days. These are harsh elements. It's cold up here on the Golan. You're in the mountains here, and we are very close to the Syria border, but the IDF is out here because there are very serious threats gathering on Israel's borders to the north in particular. I'm talking specifically about Hezbollah uh, and about Lebanon. And that's really the main thrust of this drill, right, Noah? Yeah. To prepare for that threat. Yes. And these guys are getting ready. They're going to drill, and they're drilling in particular to combat that Hezbollah threat out of southern Lebanon. They're ready. The soldiers of the IDF are ready, and we're getting an inside look here inside the tank. You'll have four guys, four IDF soldiers in there. They're like brothers. And they're together, and they're united, and they're ready. They're ready for all threats. And the threats, as we know, are gathering here. We're about, I don't know, 30 minutes from Syria, not far from Lebanon. The Iranian regime's proxies are full force, and the IDF is preparing for that threat, defending not only Israel, but defending the West and the United States. The Israel Defense Forces are the first line of defense for America as well. Lieutenant Colonel, thanks so much for joining us here on The Watchman Show. You're more than welcome. Yeah, hey, we're at this live fire drill for the Israel Defense Forces. Tell us exactly what's going on here and what you're preparing for. We have um, two companies here, a logistics company right over there or in, in those, um, if you can see the small lights over there. And we have tanks, tanks are completely uh, in the dark. And uh, also infantry and combat engineering in a combined drill. Uh, meant to, um, to simulate uh, as close as possible the, uh, uh, the challenges that they're going to meet in war. I really believe that one of the uh, greatest duties that a commander has towards his uh, subordinates are to get them ready for war, to allow them to be in situations that will make them ready, um, that will uh, allow them to uh, imagine the challenges of war, there is nothing uh, like a, like a actual combat experience, but yeah. uh, but I really think that uh, in this cold, muddy night, yeah, we have the conditions to do our best, yeah, our absolutely best. We're taking it super seriously, and uh, guys are uh, over there in a in a long drill. They're gonna stay uh, in these uh, conditions on their gears, yeah, um, all week long, and they're working hard yeah. and uh, they're getting ready. In particular, look, there's a serious threat in southern Lebanon. We have Hezbollah there. Mm -hmm. That has to be one, of, I would think, one of the major threats that you're training for with this drill. That's, that's absolutely right. I mean, when you're trying to uh, simulate uh, real combat conditions, uh, I think that uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, challenges that you have is to uh, allow your people to experience through um, as close as possible conditions, yeah. uh, the uh, challenges that they're going to meet over there, north sure. to the border. Sure. Uh, Hezbollah seems to present kind of a unique challenge. They've been in Syria getting battlefield experience there. What are their capabilities like? We know about the rocket and missile arsenal. Do they have the kind of capability where they can uh, take on Israeli tanks? I think we're really getting ready um, and we're really taking them seriously. Yeah. But we have to remember that um, A, the uh, enemy that they met, their enemies in Syria yeah. are completely different sure. from the uh, IDF, from the yeah. capabilities that we can uh, show yeah. on the battlefield. B, uh, we have the best people, the best men, young men and women in the world. Right. And, uh, and C, uh, we have the yeah. best equipment. So uh, I think they will, they will try their best as well, yeah. but it's not a match. I, yeah. I think that they really know that, and I think that they're intimidated. 
just so people at home know, these are young, I don't want to call them kids, they're young men and women that are in these tanks. Talk about the conditions inside the tanks. Look, they're kind of, it's kind of tight quarters in there, four, four people in there. Talk a little bit more about the conditions uh, that they're serving under here in the tanks. Well, you can, you can actually hear them roaring in the background yeah. as we speak. Yeah. But um, I, I think that uh, tank warfare is uh, extremely challenging. Yeah. It's uh, demanding, it's making a group of four young people to be the best uh, yeah. friends, uh, completely depend on one another actions. Yeah. Um, it's a bit tight, yeah. but in those cold conditions, it's a big bonus. Yeah, whether it's Hamas and Islamic Jihad in the south, Hezbollah to the north, Shia militias to the and north. And we're just here. <laughs> you're here. You're on war. You have to be on war footing constantly. That's right. Yeah. Well, you're That's right, and we're really doing our best. Yeah. Well, good luck with the live fire drone. Thanks so much for joining us, Lieutenant Colonel. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks again to the Israel Defense Forces for letting our Watchman team join them on that live fire tank drill on the Golan Heights. What an experience that was. If you like that clip and you want to see more like it, be sure to tune in to the Watchmen TV show on TBN every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time and then Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to get the exclusive first look at every new episode before they hit the air, you can become a Watchmen Premium member here on our YouTube channel. Just go to our homepage here and click on Join for some exclusive perks that we give to our premium members. Pretty cool stuff there, so check that out. Last note before we go, uh, tomorrow, May 11th already, we will be having a Watchmen live stream right here on the channel as well between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern time. We're going live with all of you, so be sure to join us here on the channel and bring your questions for our Q&A session. It's going to be good. Until then, thanks so much for joining us here on The Watchmen. God bless you, and remember... Never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.